What's up guys and welcome to another character profile. This week we're doing Quinton from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. So first up, this guy's English name is Quinton, also known as Christopher Arclight. In the Japanese, he's known as V. He's 20 years old and his anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel episode 26, Let the Duels Begin. And here is a list of all the duels he's been in throughout the series. As you can see, he's done quite well to be honest with you, so yeah. So Quinton is a character from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. He's the eldest son of the Vetrix family and was the most dedicated towards their cause. The etymology of his name is in contrast to his brother's names. His name is pronounced as the letter V as opposed to the Roman numeral for five, which is different from his brother's. Quinton means fifth or the fifth in Latin. So he has blue eyes and long flowing silver hair with light purple fringes and one light green in the middle. Also while his younger brothers Trey and Quattro have a crest on their hands, Quinton's crest is blue and on his forehead. Unlucky there mate. For his clothing he tends to wear quite long and dark clothes which fits in with his hairstyle. It is interesting to note that while Trey and Quattro wear the same footwear, he doesn't. Maybe highlighting the fact that he's the eldest or something? Like his brothers as well, he has a dual gazer tattoo, which is green. Quinton's d-pad is two golden triangle shapes separated by a layered infinity symbol, with the Roman numerals 5 on one side and 9 on the other, which represents his name and the number monster he owns, number 9 Dyson Sphere. Also, when Quinton was younger, he had his hair done similar to his father, with a braid resting over his left shoulder. As the eldest brother of the Vetrix family, Quinton is the most rational and calmest of his brothers, even more so than Vetrix at times. When he was younger, Quinton was gentle and mature to others, looking out for his younger brothers, and he made sure they always were behaved. When living with Kite, Quinton grew fond of him and taught him how to duel to protect his own younger brother. After learning about his father's fate, however, Quinton became cold and stoic, blaming his father's condition on Dr. Faker. Quinton acts cold and ruthless when he duels, as well as egotistical, shown by his incredibly angry reaction towards Yuma after taking only 400 damage from one of Yuma's card effects during the duel coaster event. After his father returned to his old persona, these traits vanished and Quinton became kinder and returned to being friends with Kite. Quinton also has some abilities. His crest grants him quite a few powers. It allows him to take control of others and he's also able to perform telekinesis. His crest comes with a price however, it is directly connected to his soul. Therefore, if he loses a duel while wielding a powerful number, his soul will become exhausted and he will fall into a comatose. In the past, Chris, along with his brothers and their father, Byron, lived a very happy life, along with their dog as well. Their father gave Michael a dual monster card, Common Anomaly, Aztec Mask Golem. Thomas was jealous because only Michael received a card and tried to take Mask Golem from him. Chris told him to stop or their father will scold them and then promised to teach both his brothers how to duel. When Byron became involved in Dr. Faker's experiments, Chris accompanied him to the lab, where they attempted to find the door that would lead to a parallel dimension. He was assigned to find Kazuma Tsukumo, an adventurer who was trying to find the very same thing. Kazuma agreed to help them. After examining their theory, he told them what was going wrong. With the new data, they were able to determine where the door was. However, Chris stayed behind. Byron, Kazuma and Faker travelled to the other world. Unfortunately, his father did not actually return from this trip. So, Chris's brothers were sent to an institution while he remained at Dr. Faker's facility in an attempt to learn of his father's fate. Chris eventually left the facility after learning about what really happened to his father. However, Byron did eventually return, however his form was warped into that of a child, and he swore revenge against Dr. Faker. Chris's father told him what had happened and took the name Vetrix, while Chris became known as Quinton. So, Quinton uses a space deck primarily focused on Xyz summoning number 9 Dyson Sphere. Given its hard to access rank, Quinton uses such cards as Deep Space Cruiser and Tannhauser Gate to easily acquire appropriate overlay units. He also uses several cards to punish the opponent's attacking monsters while also inflicting effect damage such as Never Ending Nightmare and Punishing Fire. Also, during his duel with Mizar, Quinton incorporates Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force into his deck, giving him access to number C9 Chaos Dyson Sphere. He also includes the spell Summon Stopper. And with that guys, that is another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles done. Don't forget to leave a like, favourite and subscribe. Tell me what you thought in the comments section below and thanks for watching.